All right, so this is the Richard Batanti affidavit. Request for foreign subpoena out of state commission witness Bethany Grace Funk. The undersigned does hereby affirm that the preceding document does not contain the social security number of any person dated this fourth day of April 2023. And we'll go through this again tonight when we have Yoli on as well. Considered the defendant's ex parte motion for certificate to secure the attendance of an out of state witness and the affidavit of Richard Batanti in support of said motion in the court being otherwise fully advised hereon. I, Megan E. Marshall, do by certi hereby certify as follows One, I am a magistrate judge for the Second Judicial Court, District of the State of Idaho, which is in constitutionally and statutorily prescribed. Court of Record in the state of Idaho. In this case, Brian Cobra is charged with four counts of first degree under Idaho Code, which is punishable. I am the judge assigned to preside over the preliminary hearing that's scheduled to occur on June 26, 2023 at 9 a.m. through June 30th, 2023. Number four, Bethany Funk may be a material witness for the defendant in this case. Number four, again, Bethany Funk may be a material witness for the defendant in this case. Number five, for the reasons stated in the affidavit of Richard Batanti, the presence of Bethany Funk is required at the Lataw County Courthouse located at 522 South Adams Street, Moscow, Idaho, beginning at 8 a.m. on June 28, 2023. Number six, under the laws of the state of Idaho, if Bethany Funk comes into the state in obedience of a summons requiring her presence at this hearing, she will not be subject to arrest or any service of any process relating to matters that arose before she entered the state under the summons. Number seven, this certificate is made for the express purpose of being presented to a judge of a court of record in the state of Nevada in support of an order to compel the attendance of Bethany Funk at the time and place and for the reasons stated above. Witness my hand on this 24th day of March 2023, Megan Marshall, Magistrate Judge. Community, you know. Uh, state of Idaho in and for the County of Leta, do hereby certify that the Honorable Megan E. Marshall, who signed the foregoing certificate, is a duly commissioned and qualified magistrate judge of the Second Judicial District of the State of Idaho in and for the County of Leta. In testimony whereof, I hereunto set my hand in official seal of the said court of the State of Idaho on 324-23. Exhibit 2. All right, and this is Ann Taylor requesting the assistance and attendance of Bethany Funk by her and Koberger. Now, this is the important part here. This is page nine, and if anybody would like the uh, link again, let me know, and I'll go ahead and drop it. State of Idaho. County of Leta. Richard Batanti, being first duly sworn upon oath, deposes and says, One, I am a criminal investigator hired by the defense to assist in the representation of Brian Koberger. Two, I was asked by appointed counsel Ansi Taylor to investigate the alleged incident which led to the arrest of Brian Koberger. Three, Brian is charged with four counts of M. Uh, first degree M and one count of burglary. The deaths took place in a three-story home. There are two bedrooms on each floor, bathrooms on each floor, and a kitchen, dining, and living room on the middle floor. Mr. Koberger is alleged to have entered the house around 4 a.m. while six people were sleeping slash present, uh, unaliving four people in two separate rooms. These people were located in two bedrooms, one on the second floor and the other on the third floor. Bethany Funk's bedroom was on the first floor. 
The other surviving roommate's bedroom was on the second floor. Bethany Funk was interviewed by police on several occasions. She disclosed things she heard and things she saw. Bethany Funk was present at the home eight hours later when police were called, arrived on scene, and discovered the homicide. During the course of my investigation, it became known to me that Bethany Funk has information material to the charges against Mr. Koberger. Portions of information Ms. Funk has is exculpatory to the defendant. Ms. Funk's information is unique to her experiences and cannot be provided by another witness. Bethany Funk resides in the state of Nevada, and it is necessary to subpoena this witness because the witness's testimony is material and necessary to this case. Richard Batanti dated the 22nd day of March, 2023. Well, commercial, you know how, you know how I always talk about my experiences and I compare it to smelling salt, and I'm telling you, okay, well, if you know how potent smelling salt is then you know how potent the smell i'm trying to tell you because it's like a hundred billion times worse stronger more potent so what that means is who says that the surviving roommates didn't leave shortly after the person left and then they didn't come back until when everybody was called and that's why they came back with friends so it's just stating that when the police showed up that she was there not stating that she wasn't not stating that she was the whole time because i'm telling you right now yeah they probably like what the hell's going on oh my gosh oh my gosh oh my gosh and like i've said ain't nobody staying in there eight hours and there's no way that anybody, and I'm telling you from personal experience when it comes to the scent of it, there's no way anybody, there's no way anybody is staying in that property for eight freaking hours. Because of sticking shit up your nose and plugging it, it doesn't matter. You still have to breathe. Are you not able to taste when you breathe? Think about a skunk when a skunk sprays. Can you not taste it? I don't give a fuck if you have shit plugged up your nose and it's... No, it don't matter. You still need to breathe. That too, Aaliyah. They still need to breathe. I and mean, I'm sorry. You can taste it. It's that potent. Medicated, I'm telling you right now. I got a I got a really strong stomach, and I'm telling you. Me, I even was like. No, ain't nobody chilling in that fucking house for eight hours. Ain't happening. Were they present? Yes, they were present. Do I think that they left? Hell yeah, I think they left. Do I think that's why the back door, sliding door was left open? Hell yeah, that's why I think the sliding back door was left open. Because you ain't going to enter the house and shut the damn door either. I wouldn't. I'm just. They almost had to, Katrina. 
and because they had to, then you're like, fuck, what do we say? <laughs> what do we say? Because then now with this happening and then we're awake and then we leave. Oh my gosh. Are they going to think that we fucking did it? Now, this is all speculation. That's what we are. Look at the bottom down there. A little ticker. Exactly, Leah. It's not. It's a. It's a scent you cannot describe to anybody. That's why I compare it to smelling salt. Uh, if you can think of a better comparison, Leah, let me know. The be best thing I can think about is is smelling salt, the potency of it, and then multiplying it by a shit ton. Like that's the best way. If you if you've ever experienced a smelling salt, and. <laughs> 